back again with Combovaria Audio Manufacture. I want to show you um, a little bit inside of the track um, Booty Clapper. Um, it's kind of a disco track and um, I'm working in Ableton 10 and want to show you the individual tracks I've used and uh, how I programmed and uh, written the whole track. So um, first I will show you a few seconds the, the whole track. I don't want to play you the whole song because uh, you can listen to it at, and I um, will write down a link where you can listen to the whole song. Um, for right now I will show you the first seconds from the, uh, from the track and then I go a little bit deeper. Okay, so now you got an impression from the whole song. I want to go straight forward into the um, bass line, I think. It's, uh, the, it's the main theme of the song. Um, so this is the bass line and uh, I will show you what I use. Um, for this I got uh, four layered basses. So um, let's listen to the track. <laughs> This was the one because uh, it was a slap bass. I, I thought it was a really good one to get the transients out. Um, after that, I got a more bottom middle sound with a hard finger bass, so it's a four layered bass. Um, the next one is this one, kind of a mid down range bass. This is kind of muffled by bass. Um, and the last one is this one. It's a little bit distorted. Uh, and altogether it sounds like that. And the track is... Um, this is the bass line. You have to um, be careful because I am I'm a guitar player and uh, I know a little bit of bass, so I know where to slap. And there is also um, here on the top there is uh, stop notes or fret noises. I think this is um, important to get kind of. Um, yeah, real feeling to the whole track or whole bass line. So it's um, written in F. And it's not that supernatural, but it's a disco song and it's an electro song. So I think it's enough to show what it can do. On the next track, on the next track, there is um, a sub bass or a bass. It's kind of a quicky, um, resonant bass, a little bit moogie. Um, the same notes. So this. Get a little bit of um, from downside there. It's a kind of bottom, more bottom inside there. And this is um, supporting the slab a little bit better, I think. Um, and there is also a sub. You can listen to it. If you have headphones or really sub. Um, sub-monitors uh, at home, uh, recommend over the headphones. 
sounds you can listen to it you have to be careful with the sub bass because it's um there can be phase issues and of uh, can be chorusing and this is um this is a bit yeah you have to be careful and then i got uh, this um, kind of side chaining uh bass line without with the side chaining you uh, recognize it's not that accurate but <clears throat> um because we're very subtle this uh sub bass um you just want to it's yeah it's on the uh, second downstroke i think um and it's not that important. The, the main important thing is this slapping bass. Um, what I did is the, the chords um, to support the first sounds. Um, um, I got a cut off in there. So um, you see this here on the bottom. Um, it's opening the sound. Yeah, um, and also there is um, a little bit, you know, in the, in the disco uh, area, there is also a guitar um, playing a lot of off beats. And I tried to simulate this with the synth. Filter Freak is uh, amazing for that, and just to um, <clears throat> simulate kind of a wow up. And here's, it's kind of a picking a guitar when you're um, playing. Um, apropos guitar, there is a, um, by the way, there is a, I, record, uh, I recorded a guitar, um, very dry without anything um, on, on with reverb or all the things, I don't need that. with the chords um, supporting the whole track. So the bass and the... Okay, and then we go a little bit further. This is the drum group. There's also um, I layered a few things. So what I did is I sampled the whole stuff and put it onto the uh, drum machine or a drum sampler. Uh, well, a little bit geeky things like uh, rise and also in the um, in the and the progression and the chord progression, the sound. Um, here is a loop, a little loop inside there just to uh, support the guitar. Also with the filter freak because um, because I think it's um, important to get kind of grooviness in, in, in inside there and I think the Vava and, and also the, the filter are working very well when you open it and close it um, different times. Yeah, this is uh, just a little insight. Um, ah, uh, and I want to show you here I have also um, a 
chord. This is clean. And I put a phaser on it. Kind of dirty. And this uh, is the whole sketch from it. Yeah, I hope um, uh, you see a little bit more and, and can get a little bit more insight of the track, well, from the track. Uh, if you want to listen to the whole track, uh, just check the link down below of the video and um, yeah, have fun. If you have any questions, ask me. Uh, I hope I have time to answer. Um, yeah, and have fun. Thank you.